beautiful morning from the city stead. This is Josh. It's a wonderful, wonderful morning. I'm in the greenhouse today. I have been working super hard, getting beds ready, uh, weeding, planting. I actually did a lot of work on the front garden to try to make the uh, you know, flower garden out front look really nice. So, But I thought, because I'm getting ready to empty out this greenhouse today and tomorrow and probably in the next three or four days, <laughs> that I would just show you around real quick. I've shown little clips of it, but we haven't talked about like ton of the stuff we've been growing. So. Just a real quick, we're gonna do a little uh, tour of the greenhouse and then I'm gonna get back to work because I got a lot of stuff to do. So in the greenhouse, we started peas about two and a half months ago and you can see how nice and tall they are. They're actually flowering. If you look in there, you see them? Now those are blue potted peas that we got from Mary's Heirloom Seeds and that's what E wanted to plant out. So we planted a bunch of those out. This is that parsley that I overwintered in the greenhouse and it has gotten massive. It really, really loves this environment. We also got some collards going on and some purple orange. And then we planted out some peppers over here just recently. Uh, so we're waiting for those to sprout, but we should have peppers in here pretty soon to go with all this other stuff. Now what I started doing, because as you can see, some of the stuff is bolting. <laughs> it's getting toward the end here. I'm actually gonna try to save a couple of these spinaches to collect seed from. I've never collected seeds uh, from spinach before, so that'll be brand new, but I wanna give it a try. So I'm leaving a couple of these to go to seed like this. I'm gonna pull some of the others out and we're gonna start planting new greens in here. Something a little more summer, you know, that can last a little bit. But you can also see in here, we do have a couple of really good heads of lettuce that are going. We have some Swiss chard that's also getting a little bolty. Uh, and that's due to the fact that it does get like, you know, 100 degrees in here during the day. But over here on this side, we've planted basil, tomato, um, there's a zucchini coming up in here. What else we plant? Oh, Kajari melon. I know there's a couple cucumbers, a couple beans, and there's some baby Swiss chard all right there. All gonna be coming up feeding us pretty soon. And yeah, I planted a bunch of stuff. There's more eggplant on this side. So over here, I've planted all sorts of little uh, things that are very heat like plants so hoping that they will actually sprout up grow and produce food before all the outside stuff does i'm planting them about the same time so we should see if having the extra heat in the greenhouse actually makes them grow a little quicker being that they are more heat uh loving plants over here i got a whole bunch of cherokee purple tomatoes popping up you see they're pretty far behind i, I wish they were a little bit ahead but i was growing them out here in this greenhouse so i kind of had to adhere to the uh the the cold spell we had just last week you know so didn't get as good as we wanted but we do have a lot of beans over here that are doing really well what else do we got boom kohlrabi that's going to be getting transplanted out today along with tree lettuce and we got some borage in here looking really nice and then all the way down here we got a lot of little greens just now sprouting up and that's just some uh, purple orange, strawberry spinach, sorrel, and a couple artichokes that are left. I planted a couple artichokes in the front garden, uh, in the flower garden. So we're going to have some of those up front. We also have another tray of starts down here that is just not sprouted yet. Uh, I just did them pretty recently, so like I'm just continuously planting stuff. Whenever I get a chance, you know, I just I grab a flat and I try to plant it out. You can see all my uh, tools down here for planting. I got a lot of stuff, a lot of trays, and uh, you know, big giant mess. <laughs> I feel I feel like if you have a greenhouse, it's also just a big giant mess. Usually, uh, if if somebody has a really nice, clean looking, perfect greenhouse, I don't even know if you're human. <laughs> So as I was potting things up and growing things, I needed more space even, because I decided I'm gonna grow some basil, purple basil, now that's my favorite, I love purple basil. And then I also got this orange hat, uh, tiny tomato. And I actually did two of these. Check that thing out, it's actually, that thing grows pretty quickly. 
So if you're not familiar with the orange hat tomato, it is like a miniature tomato. Uh, it only gets, I think it's like a foot tall, maybe not even. And it just produces little tiny cherry tomatoes. So here's another one right here, doing lovely. They actually seem to enjoy this weather out here. They weren't too bad through the shock. I did plant them a couple days before we had that little cold spell. So they've actually grown really nicely in here. I'm surprised. Got a bunch of greens and spinach that are just ready. A little bit of cabbage that should have been transplanted out yet. Uh, I'm behind. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> All right, what else do we got? We got some peppers purple beauty peppers that we're going to be giving away some squash some desi squash that'll be given away and we got some spaghetti squash there we're giving that stuff away uh there's also some more greens and stuff over there and i've been planting some of those out here and there oh what else do we got some zucchini you see in here we got okra that's going out we got some cucumbers and there's a couple zucchinis just now starting at the end and that's another tray that's all for just trying to give stuff away. And then I actually am growing corn this year because the UT33200 sent me some awesome blue corn. So I'm trying it out and actually it's doing really great. I'm surprised at how fast it's grown and how nice it looks. So I'm going to have to get that out pretty soon. Uh, like I said, most things are going out today. Sunflowers, that tray's almost empty. E and I were out planting all of those the other day. Bam! sunflower slide should be cool hopefully and then uh i got a couple beans and a couple more spaghetti squash in here these are going to be going outside today because it's just time we also have as you know our sweet little 20 dollar super greenhouse this is the one that i souped up a little bit now like i said my wood was a little warped so opening it is a little tougher than anything else but let's check out in here bush beans zucchinis can you see them in there that is my hand zoom mode uh, sound effects just just for you guys and then we also have some more beans and some more squash and that you can see borage is all starting to pop up so this tray is just now getting there this thing is actually doing pretty decent it doesn't hold the same temperatures as the main greenhouse uh, but i think it's just the bottom i gotta do a little bit more work on the bottom make sure everything's sealed up a little tighter uh, but it still works still does a fine job and we're starting to get some cucumbers popping up down in the bottom tray and like i said we just planted those like a week ago so not really expecting a whole lot out of them yet but they're getting there i'm not going to show you but there's also stuff down in the basement <laughs> a lot of that stuff's going but like i said i wanted to try to do a quick little uh tour of the greenhouse i haven't really shown everything going on in here or what i had going on in here we've already been planting everything out because it's just that time a lot of basil a lot of amaranth coming up right here and see more borage got more beans we got more cucumbers over here we got papaya or papalo pipalo papalo papalo i don't know how you say it <laughs> i'm trying to grow good king henry it's like a perennial green and you can eat pretty much every part of the plant it's kind of big in england uh, europe it's like a european like type plant it's big over there we don't really grow it here but i'm trying to grow it i've been trying to grow it for a long time and i just haven't had luck what do we got over here we got swiss chard sage oregano parsley all of them just kind of coming up maybe just kind of little baby sprouts little baby sprouts and tons and tons of tomatoes i'm thinking about running a panel along the back fence almost and just doing like a big row of tomatoes kind of like a tomato orchard <laughs> and uh hopefully we'll be able to give you know maybe sell some of these during the summer i've been planting so much stuff i'm hoping that uh during the summer i will have extra vegetables and i can just kind of put up a little farm stand and try to sell some extra vegetables you know whatever we can do i got more kale i got arugula i got basil uh, Swiss chard and some lettuce and this is all stuff that we're giving away and it's gonna be happening probably next week It's like I get this stuff out of here now uh, when I get it out of here What I'm gonna do is just plant more stuff and we're just kind of secessions plant things until it gets to the point where uh, you know 
we can't really give any of these plants away anymore <laughs> because it'll be too late in the season. All right, well, that was tons and tons of rambling on about all the little things I got going on in here. Uh, you've seen all the different projects from the different shelves, units. If not, I'm going to link a playlist right there for you. And those are all the things I little kind of little things I built to make the greenhouse a little bit more functional for seed starting. And being that we're only at 14 foot long to the back of the greenhouse, uh, we actually cram quite a lot in here when it comes to trays and seed starting and actual grow in space too. I mean, I've crammed all of it into here and I even crammed in, you know, my own little office here, as you can see, which is also now a seed starting table. <laughs> but, you know, I, I think we did quite a bit, quite a good job of, the, of utilizing this little greenhouse uh, throughout the winter and for all the seed starting that we did this year. Uh, super happy with the way it all worked out and uh, just, it's been awesome. It's been a really good setup for me and I just I enjoy being out here and getting my work on every day. I usually do this all in the morning and afternoon and when the kids want to play outside all day then I got all day to work outside. So that is enough rambling. Like I said already, kind of a little update on the greenhouse, a little tour of the greenhouse if you will. Some of the stuff we got going on and it is looking amazing. So now I'm going to get all this stuff outside. Remember guys, be bold and grow bold. And as always, I will see you in that very next video.